In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to connect a three-phase, three-wire AC input to a three-phase, three-wire power supply. Now, in this specific power supply, there is no neutral available. The power supply actually only accepts three-phase, three-wire, and then, of course, we have the frame ground. Now, before I get started with any of the connections, I'm always going to verify what is actually coming into the building and what is actually going to be connected to the power supply. So before I get started with the connections, I'm going to actually take a meter and measure from phase to phase and then phase to phase to ensure that the voltages that I'm getting match the input voltage of the power supply. Now in this specific case, the power supply that I'm going to test actually can take 380 to 480 volts AC from phase to phase. When I look at the data sheet, the data sheet actually specifies that the power supply is rated up to 530 volts. So I'm going to verify that the voltage coming into the power supply before I hook, hook it up will actually be 480 volts from phase to phase. So the first thing we'll do is I'm going to uh, secure the wires on the bench. I want to ensure that the wires are completely separated and that I've already under identified what those wires are. And that's important before you make any connections to ensure that you do not get into a condition where you could actually destroy the power supply. Secondly, we're working with very high voltages, so it's extremely important that before you energize any of the systems, you secure the wiring, make sure you have a meter ready, and also take any safety precaution to ensure that you do not make any physical contact with those wires while they're energized. So I'm going to take my meter and I'm going to take one of, the, one of the probes and actually put it to one of the phases and I'm going to then put it to another phase. And I should measure close to 480 volts AC from those phases. Then I'm going to take my probe and go to another phase and make sure that those two phases also measure close to 480 volts. My connections are fine and I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to ver ver verify these three phases, phase A to phase B. Then I'm going to verify the other phase. And then the third phase. And my voltages are very close to 480 volts. Now I'm not going to use the neutral wire. So I'm actually going to de-energize the system real quick. I'm going to take the neutral wire. I'm actually going to tape it down. For the test purposes, get that off. So once I have all of those done, I am going to look at the label. And I see that I have the ground connection is on terminal one. And then we have lines one, two, and three. Wait and connect the ground terminal last. Okay, so now I, what I have is I have my connections on line one, line two, and line three. I checked my label. My ground is clipped on here. For test purposes, we're just clipping it on. And I'm also making sure that my connections are tight. I do not want my connections coming off on this power supply if uh, once it's energized, because it could be very dangerous. So all my connections are in. I have the output uh, connected to the, to the meters. So now I'm ready to energize the system. All right, now my power supply is connected. The fan actually isn't running yet, but I do have a connection on there and I'm registering 115 volts on the output. So now I, un I know that this power supply is working and the correct voltage is applied. I have a green indicator indicating that the power supply is on with the voltages there. And that's how you connect a three-phase, three-wire system to a three-phase power supply. Okay, so there you have it. This is how you connect a three-phase, three-wire power supply to a three-phase, three-wire system. And always ensure that you do the two things that are important. Number one is always ensure that you take the proper safety precautions when you're dealing with high voltage. 
make sure that you check and verify your voltages before you actually connect the power supply. Check the label on the power supply to indicate what the connections are and always refer to the data sheet to ensure that the connections that are indicated on the data sheet match the connections that you're actually performing on the power supply to ensure safety and ensure that you don't damage the power supply in any way. Thank you for joining us on this demonstration. If you have any questions in wiring a three-phase power supply with three wires to a three-phase wired power supply, give us a call here at TRC. We'll be happy to get you with the right information and also make sure that you've selected the best product for your application.